the one and all, welcome to a Galaxy Man Show interview show. Uh, so for my very first guest today is this incredible actor known by the name of David Bowles, uh, who's going to be playing the role of Jason Todd in this incredible fan film series called Barra. Uh, so I'm about to add David into the live now to have a chat with David about his role as uh, Jason Todd. So yeah, let's add David in and here we go. Oh man. Hey David, what's up? Oh, uh, chilling. What's up with you, man? Nothing much really. I just want to say first up, thank you so much, David, for making an appearance on my show. It's such a pleasure having you on. Uh, to people that don't know who you are, David, if you can give, it, give a bit of backstory about who you are and what you do, and then we'll dive right into the questions. Absolutely. So uh, my name is David Bowles. I usually do a lot of uh, art on my page, uh, at least my Instagram page. I also do a lot of acting. Um, I'm a new actor. So Batman Death of Robin was actually my first film that I was uh, in as Robin, of course. Um, and now we're, you know, doing plans for the newest film, Barbara. So really excited about that. Awesome. So we'll dive right into the questions now. So for my very first question, so you're going to be playing this very iconic DC character called Jason Todd, uh, who's Robin. Uh, so what can people expect to see from your Robin version in Barbara? Well, they're going to see a lot of angst, first off, because Jason Todd is a really grounded, he's an angry person, you know, in general. So they're going to see a lot of uh, brutal moments with Jason Todd. Um, which kind of prelude to our first film, Batman, Death of Robin. Um, so, yeah, they're going to see a lot of action, a lot of uh, just that sort of thing. Super excited. So on to my very next question. So when you first got casted in the role as Jason Todd, what were your, like, emotions feeling at the time when you got casted in the role for Barbara? I was, I was honored, honestly. Um, I have been Robin in the past couple of films. And those past couple of films have been directed by my brother, like my expected that I would be returning for Barbara's casting as Jason Todd, but it's still a really amazing feeling to encapsulate uh, that character and, you know, kind of take my own twist on that character. Super awesome. So that's my very next question. So how can people relate to your Jason Todd and what makes your Jason Todd different from other actors that have played Jason Todd in the past? Right. So other Jason Todd actors do a fantastic job at portraying him and his fighting abilities and all that. But I feel like my Jason Todd is going to be more grounded and more human than the other Jasons. Um, you know, he gets a lot of his emotions out in Barbara, especially through his fighting and his dialogue. So I feel like it's going to be a lot more emotional, uh, which is who Jason Todd is in the end. So on to my very next question. So if your Jason Todd could have any memorable moment in the Barber fan series, what would you like to see from your Jason Todd and why? Ooh, that is actually a really good question. However... I cannot go into detail about that because um, there's a lot of juicy stuff in Barbara. Um, and if I reveal anything, it's going to spoil the surprise. So sorry about that, man. So good. So good. So on to my very next question. So why should people watch Barbara? What makes Barbara stand out from other DC fan films? Um, I think the character development in Barbara is especially good, um, especially compared to our last films we had next to no character development. So this film is really going to change that um, in this perspective of Barbara and Jason Todd. Um, honestly, the fight scenes are going to be the highlight of this film and just how this film kind of sets up the next few films that we have planned, which I can't disclose at the moment. So that's a very next question. So who would be your all-time favorite DC hero of all time and why? Ah, uh, favorite hero? I mean, Jason Todd, if I were to be honest, you can call him an anti-hero, but I just feel like he's more human than most other heroes. You know, you got the Supermans, he's like the symbol of hope.
but his personality is a bit lacking. I feel like Jason Todd really kind of makes up for that. So on to my very next question. So who would be your all-time favorite DC villain of all time and why? Ah, besides the Joker, Joker's number one for me. I've always loved the Joker. Especially in his comic material. Um, if you want to call Red Hood a villain, I would say definitely Red Hood because of my attachment to uh, Jason Todd as a character. Yeah. So on to my very next question. So if your Jason Todd could team up with any DC character in the DC universe, who would you want to team up with and why? Ooh, okay. Um, I would honestly say Dick Grayson. As Nightwing, uh, just seeing like the two Robins in action would be super, super cool. I mean, aside from Damian Wayne, which he's also a Robin. But uh, I feel like him and Dick Grayson would kind of butt heads because they're a little opposite on the personality spectrum. But it'd be really interesting to see them cooperate for sure. So on to my very next question. So who inspired you as a person to get into acting in the first place? I'd say my brother, honestly, because he's the one who kind of forefronted this whole Batman series that we've been working on for the past two, three years. Um, yeah, I mean, he we've lived together, obviously, our entire lives, and we've always had that creative edge, like wanting to produce content and not just consume it. Uh, so when Brian was writing our first film, it just really clicked in my mind that this is all possible, and, you know, I can twist a character however I want and still have it be awesome. So this is definitely my brother, for sure. And he plays the Joker in Barbara, so keep your eyes peeled for him. That's going to be so cool. So on to my very next question. So who, what have you learned about yourself as a person, especially like during COVID? Oh, during COVID, um, I have learned that I'm definitely an introvert <laughs> when it comes to just, you know, valuing my own time and just enjoying the time that I have by myself. Because obviously during COVID, um, you know, kind of have to value your own time to stay sane, especially in the lockdowns and all that. So uh, I just, yeah, I value my own time. I love being creative. Uh, COVID kind of gave me that liberty to draw more and plan more for future films. And yeah, I mean, it's good for me. I just want to say first up, I've seen a couple of your art and I just want to say you do phenomenal art. Uh, and I recommend people definitely go check out uh, David's art. Uh, it's truly inspirational, uh, and he's Thank such you. a talented artist, so definitely check out his art. Uh, so, on to my very next question. So, if you could be in any TV or movie franchise, what would it be and why? Oh, boy. So, if I were to be in any franchise... Uh, have you heard of Attack on Titan? It's an anime? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so I... As bleak as the world would be, I would want to be in Attack on Titan. Um just to kind of defend humanity, because I feel like that's a really ambitious uh, goal to do. So yeah, I'd say Attack on Titan. So on to my very next question. So what are the positives and negatives into the whole acting industry? And how do you get through those negatives as a person? Yeah, so positives, I would say being on set is a huge positive. And just knowing that you're creating something awesome you know, it's not in vain whenever you're on set because you're getting experience, you know, you're creating, it's all great. Uh, if I were to say, you know, if I were to pinpoint any negatives, it'd probably be the, the social anxiety aspect of it because I'm very closed in person and getting out there and breaking out of my shell has been especially difficult for me. Um, so kind of getting over that barrier is a bit difficult. But the life onset kind of just overflows those negative emotions, and it's completely a positive experience, for sure. So on the very last question, so what's next for you for, like, the rest of 2021 that you would like to announce on the show? Yeah, so we have huge plans uh, for 2021. We're going to 
release the Barber teaser coming up very soon. We're going to be doing some filming for that teaser in the next couple of days, actually. Uh, and hopefully you will see a release for Barbara later this year. Um, depending on how things go and how editing goes, you know, we'll see. Um, but I'm going to up my art game and up my acting game, and it's going to be awesome. A year of growth, for sure. So can I just say uh, thank you so much, David, for making an appearance on my show. Uh, it has been such a pleasure having a chat with you, David. Uh, to people that haven't seen David's work, uh, definitely go support David uh, and support the amazing cast of Barbara. It's going to be such an incredible fan film. Uh, definitely go check out Barbara. Any last final thoughts that you'd like to say to people on the show? I uh, just want to thank you for having me on. Uh, thank you for your support of Barbara, you know, interviewing the whole cast. That's amazing. We appreciate that here. Um, and yeah, just keep your eyes peeled for Barbara. It's going to be the biggest, most ambition uh, filled project that B Squared has to offer. So yeah, thanks for having me on, man.